here, I'm going to show you how to perform easy date conversions with VBA. And what I mean by that is how to take a date that is a date, but maybe Excel doesn't see it as a date, and then force it to see it as a date. And though we're working with dates already in cell here in the worksheet, in my full VBA course, the context of this and where you are most often going to run into it when using VBA is when you import text or import a CSV file into the workbook and Excel doesn't exactly know if it's a date or not. So go to the VBA window, open up module one, and make sure you download the file. There are additional notes that'll help you throughout the tutorial. But the first thing that we wanna do is to check if the cells have dates in them. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a cell. We're just going to check the values here because as you notice, one's in Europe format or basically worldwide date format and one's in the USA date format. And that's where you oftentimes run into problems. So let's just pull a value in from B1, get the value. And what we wanna do actually is to check if it is a date or not. And we have a great function in VBA for that, which is is date. So you put the value in there and it's going to tell you if it's a date or not. And here, let's just output this guy in a message box. And we are going to also grab B2 as well. So if I go ahead and click the cell, you can actually see right here that it is not seen as a date. But if I click it, you can see it's general up here. And this one is seen as a date. But for VBA, if we run the macro, it says that B1 is a date. It returns true. If it is not seen as a date, it's returning false. Now, seen as a date. The worksheet seeing this as a date is different than the VBA program saying, hey, that looks like a date to me. But we're not quite done yet. So B2 is also a date. It returns true. But now that we know that both of them can be seen as a date, how do we force them to be a date? So let's take the value from B1 and input it right here, but make it a date. So range B4 dot value equals, and we have a great function called C date. And this is going to say, hey, I want you to force whatever I put in here to be a date. And we are going to put the value from B1. And let us comment these guys out. And maybe actually let's make a little reference right here so that we can see what happens without C date. And we will put this one in B3. Run the macro. And there we go. B4 is a date. You can see it's on the right side of the cell. And if I click it, it's going to say date up here. But this one is still not seen as a date. And notice that the 13 and the 1 have also changed places. And that's what's required for it to be seen as a date on my version of Excel. And those are really the only two steps that you need to check if something is a date and then force it to be a date. And in the downloadable file, I have a link to Microsoft's page where they list a bunch of other type conversion functions. That's what that's called. And they are really, really helpful. But let me show you how to make it even better. And in the VBA course, we do this within a loop when we import text into the worksheet, and we just make sure that everything that should be a date is a date. And we do a little check if is a date, and then what we are checking, which in this case is B1, then and, and if, and indent that guy. So if this is a date, then go ahead and make it a date. And of course, you don't have to put it directly in a cell. You can do whatever you want with it, store it in another variable. It's up to you. Here we are just very simply transferring it from one cell to another. So you can see that this actually works and makes the value into a date.